Building a Flow, a virtual AI editorial office. Nowadays, it is possible to employ AI for writing blog posts, email letters, and whatnot, but straightforward approach may give the result that is far from ideal. To fix this and boost the quality, we're going to gather an AI team that will help us write captivating texts. The team will consist of two authors, a proofreader, and a leader who will choose the final result. As an example, we'll take the case of writing a text about a consumer product. The text should be fit for the product website, marketing materials, and so on and so forth. Go to the flow and click the Create button. It's a good practice to store all your input data in a single node. Start by typing user input in the search bar of the left panel. Locate user defined input form. Drag it to the workspace. This node has no pre configured fields, so we should set them ourselves. Dive into the node settings and select Configure Fields. Add a field and name it Product. We will put basic info about our product here. Don't forget to click the Save button. Return to the user defined input form node. Let's say our product is a makeup kit for teenagers. Type the text Makeup Kit for Teens into the product input of the node. Hit the Execute button and then click Save and Execute to run this node and generate the custom output. We need it to move further. Now let's start gathering our team. To hire the first author, start typing ChatGPT Processor in the left panel and drag a ChatGPT Processor node to your workspace. Go to settings of the ChatGPT Processor node. You can choose ChatGPT versions with the model dropdown. Let's choose GPT-4 for its advanced writing capabilities. Now it's time to prepare ChatGPT for receiving instructions. In the settings, go to Messages section, click on a pencil, and a new message. Change the type of the message to System as recommended by OpenAI to emphasize that it's a high-level instruction and to guide the model's behavior. Paste the text of your instruction to the message field. Here's mine. You can modify it freely or come up with your own. We're not done here yet. We need to get data from the user-defined input form. Add another message. There's no need to change the message type this time. Here things will become a little bit tricky. Due to the syntax of the ChatGPT processor node, we will need to use Expression Editor. Click on the Not Are symbol in the lower message field. You'll get the Expression Editor. There is a list of the nodes on the left. Click on the user-defined input form to see its output. Drag the product output to the expression field. The result should look like this. Click the Save button in the expression editor and don't forget to click top right Save as well before leaving the settings. Connect the output of your user-defined input form and the input of the ChatGPT processor. We can add notes that help us to navigate through the flow and can store any additional info like comments. There will be two virtual writers, so in order to not mess things up, let's add a note. Right-click on your workspace somewhere near to the ChatGPT processor node and choose Add Note. As our instruction states, ChatGPT should assume a role of the author, who values specific and meaningful texts the most. So let's write on the sticker, something akin author. 1. Precise and specific. To add another author, we should repeat basically the same actions. A. Drag another ChatGPT processor node to the workspace. B. Connect the product output of the user-defined input form with the input of this ChatGPT processor node. C. Go to the settings of the node and change the model version, preferably. D. Without leaving the settings, add a message and change its type to system. E. Paste the instruction for the second virtual author. Obviously, it should be somehow different from the instruction given to the first author. For example, here's mine. F. Add another message and using the expression editor, refer to the data from the user-defined input form. G. Optional. Add a note about the second author. We need to run our workflow before moving any further. Hit the Start button on the top panel and choose Save and Execute when prompted. Let's add a proofreader to check the generated texts and correct them if necessary. Yet again, it's more or less the same routine. Add the third ChatGPT processor to your workspace. Connect the success outputs of both authors to the input of this node. Change the model version in the settings to GPT-4. Add a system message like that. Add another message and open the expression editor. Drag success outputs of both authors' nodes to the expression field. Place the expressions that you get on different lines and enumerate them. Don't forget to save everything. Run the proofreader node by clicking the execute button on it. 
And finally, let's bring in the product owner. It's their responsibility to choose the best text. It's ChatGPT processor. Again, add the fourth ChatGPT processor to your workspace. Connect the success output of the proofreader node with the input of this node. Change the model version in the settings to GPT-4. Add a system message like that. Add another message and using the expression editor, Drag the success output of the third ChatGPT processor to the expression field. Make sure you've clicked the save buttons. Hooray! Let's see the choice. Hit the execute button on the product owner node. Nice! Now we can copy this final text and use it on our website or as a product description on a marketplace. Once you have the workflow built, there's no need to run nodes one by one anymore. Simply change the product text in the user-defined input form and use the start button on the top bar.